What offer did you make today? Hello, it's John, it's Thursday, it's a lovely sunny day at the garden. Birds are tweeting, flies are strangely sunbathing on my little patio area, which is something I haven't seen before, but hey, it takes all sorts. So, the, oh, you're wondering what this is? Oh yeah, okay, I'll remind you, because you must have forgotten since yesterday. It is the Marketing for Owners podcast. It's every day. Yesterday was the superb Joel Bogess. He's good. I like him. And uh, he did extremely well. And what a nice voice. What a nice bloke. If you missed that, go back and listen. It's at marketingforowners.com slash podcast slash 378. I think that's right. I think that's the right number. But you find it there anyway. Every Wednesday is the expert interview series and Joel is an expert podcaster. So good one to listen to. Anyway, the offer thing. So when I'm talking about offers, did you realise that making an offer does not have to involve discounts or, or selling stuff or giving stuff away for free? A lot of people are worried about giving um, discounts purely because they think that sets a precedent that, oh no, we don't discount our products, we're not like that, Um, you know, that's for supermarkets and so on. But people don't buy products generally, they buy offers. Now what that means is that uh, quite often people are browsing, They, they don't generally go out determined to buy things. And if they do, they go direct to the place they want to buy it from and they buy it. So if they come direct to you with an intention to buy, no problem. Sorted, job done, you don't have to worry about anything. They were already going to buy. But what about the other 7 billion? What about everyone else? So if you're Walmart or Tesco's, people come in, do their shopping, they're coming in to buy stuff. Now they're going to have still have offers to tempt people to buy things they weren't planning on buying. We all know how that works. Yes, (laughs) we've all got cupboards and bins full of the stuff. But generally for the rest of us, people are looking for information. They want to know a bit more. They're researching. They may want to look up the price of something and it may include your product. They may not be even looking for information. You may send an email and they haven't actually considered the fact that they may need something that you have for sale. It's not on their mind. So in that case, they can be tempted with an offer and an offer can be anything, something that just sparks that little ooh in their mind that makes them think, yeah, that's the point, I need one of those. Or, well, I didn't really need it right now, but I, with that, I ought to. So what can an offer be? How an offer can be an upsell of something. So for, if you're selling a product, say for, Anyone who places a purchase during this week in the next seven days, in the next 48 hours, will also get a a free something or other, just an upsell. So for example, uh, we sell um, fire safety, fire extinguishers. Uh, For the next few days, you could, if you buy one, you will get a free um, identification sign with it, which could be worth uh, an extra four pounds or something, or you'll get a free Um, information book that we normally sell for £10 with every order or you'll get free delivery or so you can give away free things but if you get it right that extra bit that you give away is to enhance the sale and it doesn't have to cost you anything so quite often um, the extras but if you uh, look at somewhere like um, in, on an online store if you're buying a camera. When you look around for, say, uh, a Canon camera, you'll find some stores will do a half-priced bag with it or uh, some kind of lens cover or something extra just to tempt you to buy that thing. So they don't give an offer 
on the product. They're not discounting the actual product or the service. They are giving extra value. Do you get that? It's the extra value. Now, I, I know quite a few people who, uh, who uh, make their income by advertising products and uh, products for affiliate commission, quite often not their own products, but advertising that via certain mediums online. They would say they buy advertising media and they put out ads, people come through and they get a commission if you buy. Now they are experts at this, but the, if you speak to them, they won't say, oh, what are you selling? They will just simply say, what's your offer? And your offer, so, um, so it's an offer because they know people don't buy things. People buy opportunities and offers. But just get it out of your head that you have to discount your own product. Right? Try and buy added, uh, try and build added value. If you have a service, try create three levels of service. You've all seen uh, credit cards, where there's a credit card, there's a gold credit card, there's a platinum credit card, or with American Express, good example, even have the black, the Centurion credit card. And people pay, is it two and a half thousand dollars a year or pounds a year to be a member of? And people want that. So there are certain parts of the, uh, of, of the world, of your customer base, that will pay extra for exclusivity or for extra value. They're not going to just pay higher money just to pay higher money and make you more wealthy. They are going to perceive the added value that they can afford and they want. So try and create something other than just a product or just a something. When you contact somebody and you hope to, to pique their interest, and don't, by the way, don't make offers all the time. It gets a bit boring, people get blind to that. But just pique their interest. That's what I wanted to to uh, have you think about today. <laughs> so, now, does that make sense? By the way, if anyone has um, any comments on something like this or something I discuss, you can always go to the website at marketingforowners.com uh, and find the contact form and send me a message, or you can simply email me at john, J-O-N, at marketingforowners.com. I actually read and answer every single email. They come from all over the world and I love to hear from you. It's cool. Now, it's Thursday. It is a drive time podcast. And today, um, I normally say that if you set up your marketing, you won't need to sell. However, a lot of people still need to know things about selling. So today, I'm recommending the Advanced Selling Podcast. Now, again, if you go to iTunes or just Google the Advanced Selling Podcast. I think their website is at advancedsellingpodcast.com, but it's two guys. It's Bill Kasky and Brian Neal. Now, they are business-to-business -business sales trainers. They have been training salespeople for like 20 years, and they just talk about their strategies, um, frameworks for selling processes, uh, their tips, their tricks, and everything they use. It's fascinating stuff, and, they, and there is something to learn. I was just talking to a friend yesterday about this, is that in retail stores and everything, everyone puts people in front of a customer to take orders and things. No one ever trains them to sell. No one ever thinks it's necessary. But that is where the transaction takes place. Imagine if you could improve it. So try listening to that, the Advanced Selling Podcast. You will enjoy it, guaranteed. I will be back tomorrow, and I've got a great weekend challenge. This one will help get you more sales. See you then.